Thermodynamics is the study of the conversion of energy into work and heat. Thermodynamics also encompasses the study of the thermal properties of matter and how temperature, pressure and volume change in relation to one another. In this chapter we will study the following topics from thermodynamics, temperature, the equation of state, heat, heat transfer, thermal expansion, phase change, the first law of thermodynamics, and the second law of thermodynamics. Temperature is a measure of the level of hotness or coldness of an object and can be perceived by the human sense of touch. An object that feels hot on touching it is said to be at a temperature that is higher than the human body temperature. An object that feels cold on touching it is said to be at a temperature that is lower than the human body temperature. When a cold beverage is placed in a room that is at a higher temperature, its temperature increases. After a while, the beverage would have reached the same temperature as that of its surroundings. Once the temperature of the beverage equals the same temperature as that of the surrounding room, it will maintain that temperature. The beverage and the room are then said to be in thermal equilibrium. Thermal equilibrium is a state in which two objects that are in thermal contact maintain the same temperature. Consider three objects A, B, and C, which are at three different temperatures. Objects A and B are separated by a thick insulating wall. But object C is allowed to be in contact with both objects A and B, as shown in the diagram. Over a period of time, since A and C are in contact, they would attain thermal equilibrium. Also since B and C are in contact, they too would attain thermal equilibrium. The hypothesis of the raw law of thermodynamics is as follows. If two objects, A and C, after being in contact, reach a state of thermal equilibrium, and if another object B, which is also in contact with object C, reaches a state of thermal equilibrium with C, then, objects A and B even though they are not in contact, will be in thermal equilibrium. At this point in time, the temperatures of A, B, and C would be the same. Contrary to what one might think, the thermometer does not directly measure the temperature of the object with which it is in contact. Rather, the thermometer measures its own temperature by being in thermal equilibrium with the object that it is in contact with. The temperature of the measuring tip of the thermometer is then equal to the temperature of the object. Shown here is a thermometer whose initial temperature is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Notice that when the thermometer comes into thermal contact with the liquid in the beaker, the temperature of the thermometer starts to increase as the liquid and the thermometer move towards being in thermal equilibrium. Once the thermometer and the liquid are in thermal equilibrium, the temperature of the thermometer becomes constant. This temperature reading which in this case is equal to 97.6 degrees Fahrenheit is then representative of the temperature of the liquid. In order to indicate how hot or how cold an object is, it is necessary to define a scale with which temperature can be measured. Today, there are four major temperature scales that are commonly used. There are two temperature scales where the zero reference temperature depends on the properties of water. These are the Celsius scale and the Fahrenheit scale. Temperature scales where the zero reference point is not dependent on the property of a specific material are called absolute temperature scales. There are two absolute temperature scales currently been used, the Kelvin scale and the Rankine scale. From 1744 until 1954, the Celsius temperature scale was defined in the following way. The temperature at which pure water freezes at sea level is labeled zero, also said to be zero degrees Celsius. And the temperature at which pure water begins to boil at sea level is labeled 100, also said to be 100 degrees Celsius. Note that the water must be pure because impurities in the water can change its freezing and boiling temperatures. Also note that, 
the reason why the freezing and boiling temperatures of water had to be measured at sea level is because the freezing and boiling temperatures of water change with the surrounding air pressure at sea level. The atmospheric pressure is equal to one standard atmosphere or 101.325 kPa. Currently, the Celsius scale is defined using absolute zero and a triple point of water, which are highly precise and reproducible temperatures. The range between zero and 100 is divided into 100 equal intervals, each equivalent to one degree Celsius. In 1948, the Ninth General Conference on Weights and Measures CGPM first considered using the triple point of water as a zero reference point. The temperature and pressure at which three phases, gas, liquid, and solid, of a given substance, coexist in thermodynamic equilibrium, is called the triple point of the substance. For water, this occurs at a temperature of 0.01 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 0.006 atmospheres. The second reference point was chosen to be the absolute zero temperature. The absolute zero is the lowest possible temperature at which no heat energy remains in a substance. The absolute zero is defined as being precisely negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. The Fahrenheit scale was developed by the German physicist Daniel Gabriel Fahrenheit in 1724. Fahrenheit determined three easily reproducible fixed points for temperature measurement. The first point was determined by placing the thermometer in a mixture of ice, water and ammonium chloride. This was a very commonly used freezing mixture back then. Fahrenheit marked this temperature as zero degrees on his scale. The second point was determined by placing the thermometer in a mixture of just ice and water. Fahrenheit marked this temperature as the 32nd degree on his scale. Finally, for the third point, he placed the thermometer under the armpit of a healthy person and marked the temperature red as the 96th degree on his scale. Based on the calibration of the Fahrenheit scale, 32 degree Fahrenheit will correspond to 0 degree Celsius, which is the freezing point of water. 212 degree Fahrenheit will equal 100 degree Celsius, which is the boiling point of water. The temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit will equal 37 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature of a normal human body. In general, to convert a given Fahrenheit temperature to Celsius temperature, we subtract 32 from the Fahrenheit value and multiply the remainder with 5 and divide by 9. The Celsius scale and the Fahrenheit scale, as defined until 1954, depended on the properties of water. Water properties can change due to different factors, like the purity of the water sample and the ambient pressure. It is hard to create a 100% pure water sample. It is also hard to maintain precisely a pressure of one atmosphere because ambient pressure changes with weather conditions and temperature. Thus, it was difficult to attain the zero and 100 degree temperatures required to calibrate the Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. This led Lord Kelvin to propose in 1848 a new temperature scale known thereafter as the Kelvin scale in which the zero temperature point is independent of the properties of any specific substance. In the Kelvin scale, zero Kelvin is defined as the temperature at which the absolute pressure of a gas becomes zero. This temperature is the same for all gases and is called the absolute zero temperature or simply absolute zero. An interval of one degree on the Kelvin scale equals an interval of one degree on the Celsius scale. Lord Kelvin calculated that Zero on the Kelvin scale corresponds to negative 273.15 degrees on the Celsius scale. In other words, to convert temperatures from Kelvin to Celsius, just subtract 273.15 from the Kelvin temperature. The Rankine scale was proposed by William John McWarren Rankine in 1859. The reason he developed it 
was the same as why the Kelvin scale was developed, to have a scale independent of the properties of any particular substance. The zero on the Rankine scale is defined the same as the zero on the Kelvin scale. The Rankine scale differs from the Kelvin scale, since a one degree interval on the Rankine scale is equal to a one degree interval on the Fahrenheit scale, instead of the Kelsey scale. Rankine calculated that the temperature of negative 459.67 on the Fahrenheit scale is equal to zero on the Rankine scale. Hence, to convert the temperature reading from the Rankine scale to the Fahrenheit scale, just subtract 459.67 from the Rankine temperature reading 